Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a tag video. I was tagged by Kenny Nicole way back in April, um, and this is the Get to Know Me tag, and some of these answers you might have heard before on other videos, but, you know, it's a, it's a new tag, so um, I'm going to do it. By the way, I'm no makeup. We're fresh-faced, right out of the shower, fluffy hair, so, um, but anyway, you get what you get with me. <laughs> So, here we go. Let's get started. This is 14 questions. Number one is, what's your name? My name is Tina Diane Fitzpatrick. I was named Tina because I was born two months premature and I was super tiny. So, I was tiny Tina. And Diane came from the day I was born. We landed on the moon. So, my parents kind of used the... Um, Moon Landing is part of my name, and it was uh, Diane for Diana, the Moon Goddess of Mythology. So, when is your birthday? Well, there we go, July 19th, um, 1969, the day we landed on the moon. So, those kind of work together. Number three, what's your favorite food? I love Mexican food. Hard love Mexican food. I love hamburgers. I love lasagna. I love to cook, and I love to eat. I think those go hand in hand. So, But if I had to just pick one thing, it would probably be Mexican food. And it's because my husband's not real crazy about it, so we don't eat it as often as I would like. Um, number four, dog or cat? I like both. I've had both. Um, I really miss having a cat, but you guys all know that I have a dog, Mr. Cotton. And uh, so I guess right now I'm a dog person. <laughs> Number five, if you were stranded on a deserted island, pick only one item you would bring. Oh, that is so hard. Um, I would probably have to say coffee. I just don't work without my coffee. I just, that's like one thing we never, ever, well, that and peanut butter. We never run out of those in the house because that's the rule, you know. You could, you could end up in trouble if you run out of coffee or peanut butter here. Um, so I guess coffee's mine. Number six, worst fear. I used to not be scared of this. Um, when I was younger, I had no fear of heights at all. But the older I got, the more and more scared I got of heights. I am freaked out bad by heights. Um, we went up on a uh, lighthouse one time, and you have to go up the stairs, and they spiral around up against the wall, and there was no railing, and I was freaking out. I had to come down. I just had to come down and go sit in the car until everybody was done. I don't do heights no more. Um, number seven, favorite singer or group? And I'm probably giving way too many multiple answers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an indecisive kind of person. I love the Beatles. I love Aerosmith. I love Pink. I love um, John Prine. I know most of you have probably never heard of John Prine. Um, I'm all over the map. I listen to all kinds of music. Um, I like all the hair bands from back in the 80s. You know, I, I, I love music. That's a, I put my headphones on at work so that I can stay focused and get my work done because I love music. So, But I guess if I had to, right now I've been listening to a lot of Pink. But I, there was one time where I listened to the Beatles for like a year. I listened to nothing but the Beatles for like a whole year. And I've done that with Aerosmith and, and a whole bunch of other people too. So there we go. Favorite TV show. Number eight's favorite TV show. I don't watch TV. We don't. We got rid of satellite and we don't, we just don't watch TV. We buy movies or we buy like series, like the box sets way after they've come out. Um, we watched all of Friends. Friends is one of my favorites. That 70s show, My Name is Earl. Um, but as far as current, there's nothing on there right now that I'm watching that's current. Um, we don't watch TV. Favorite movie. Now, you guys know I love me some Harry Potter movies. And I couldn't pick a favorite out of all of those. I just couldn't do it. Let me think. Um, my favorite movie, I think like for my whole life has always been The Wizard of Oz. Um, when I was a little girl, it only came on once a year. You know, we didn't have VHS or DVDs or none of that. You had to wait for it to come on TV. And it came on once a year, and I was playing in front of that TV. I didn't move while that show was on, was not moving. So I do love that. Um, another old favorite, and this one's kind of weird, um, but I love The Rose with Bette Midler. 
I just, something about that movie is just, it's just so funny. And, I mean, it's tragic, but Bette Midler does such a great job. And I just, so, I guess Wizard of Oz first and then followed by The Rose. Number 10, favorite way to spend a Saturday. I'm doing it. I'm sitting in my mani cave, surrounded by polish, making videos for you. <laughs> what I do. Um, number 11, salty or sweet? Put your hands together. I love salty and sweet. <laughs> um, and number 12, coffee or tea? Same thing. Put your hands together. I start off my morning every morning with a big fat cup of coffee and I leave the house with it and I take a Keurig cup with me to work because we have a Keurig machine and I make me another cup once I get to work and then when I'm done drinking that, have my big old cup of sweet tea. <laughs> so, um, I, I couldn't choose between the two, honestly. Number 13 is easy. Who was the last person you kissed? That would be Mr. Moon Baby Nails. Yes. Yes. He's, he's a kissy face. So, um, number 14, tag someone. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to try to tag some people that I think I've never tagged before. I want to get some um, names out there, and I will have some people listed below. I've got several other tags I need to work on. So, um, first person I'm going to tag is Never Naked Nails Jill. Um, then I also want to tag Simply Kiwi. I want to tag, um, oh my gosh, there's so many. I tell you what, I'm going to leave some of them surprises, but I'm going to tag some extra people down below in the comments. Okay, how about that? So definitely simply Kiwi. Kiwi, you tag girl. And Jill, come on. I know I know you're I know you're good for this one. So um and tag videos are cool because you don't have it it's not a time thing. It's not like you have to do it right now. Like I said, Kenny Nicole tagged me back in April and I'm just now getting around to doing it. So that's the lovely thing about tags. So well I hope you enjoyed this one and um you know, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me. Or if, you know, I said one of my answers, you know, sparked a memory or something, let me know. I love talking to you guys down there. And uh, that's it for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.